Okay, so uh, we have here the capability of creating sections. Uh, we would like to now be able to uh, implement uh, the capability of students to be able to enroll in these uh, sections, right? Uh, the currently logged in student is already on the server. Right? I don't need to pass that in as an argument. Instead, I need to pass in what section do I want to enroll in, right? So let's create an enrollment, um, an enrollment uh, uh, module component that uh, can list all the sections that are currently uh, available. All right, let's do that. Let's uh, create a uh, new component, ng uh, generate a component called uh, enrollment. Okay, uh, and that in enrollment, uh, uh, um, we would like to be able to list all the available sections and then allow students to select the, course, the section that they want to enroll. So here's enrollment. And uh, I'd like to be able to navigate there. Uh, so in the routing, I'm going to add a new, uh, a new routing here and say, um, and enrollments, enroll, enrollments, and this will go to the, the enrollment component. I guess that should have been plural. Uh, that's fine. Uh, did I spell that right? Enroll, enrollments. Uh, all right, so and in my whiteboard, I can add a new uh, section here so that I can navigate there, right? So this will be uh, enrollments, enrollments, and this will be enrollments. All right, so we have that new. If we click on enrollments, notice that we are in that component, right? So that we're good in there, right? Awesome. Uh, so let's let's add in uh, in our enrollment HTML maybe just a, a simple. Um, H2 that says enrollments, right, enrollment. Uh, and what I'd like to be able to do here is list all the sections available across all courses, perhaps, yes? Uh, so let's do that. In the component, what do we want to do? We want to use the section service to retrieve all the sections across all courses, yes? Uh, so we need to load the private service uh, sorry, section uh, service, section service, there it is. Uh, and what I'd like to be able to do is uh, declare here a, a sections array, an empty array for sections. I'm just going to populate it. I want to use the service to fetch all the sections, right? Not only for the course, but all of them, right? So this would be something like uh, this dot uh, section service dot find all sections. This does not exist. Right? We need to implement it. Right? Again, we're practicing. Right? We're practicing, uh, and, uh, and, and um, so then you can practice on your own. So this, notice that I don't need to pass any arguments, because I just need all the service, all the, all the sections. Uh, and so presumably, this will come back with a promise, uh, hopefully with all the sections. And I can just bind it, this dot sections, uh, sections, sections, uh, sections. That's it. Right, that's all I really need to do. Uh, well, now it's broken, right? It's complaining, saying I don't have that uh, find all sections. Let's implement that. Let's go in the service client and let's implement that. It's uh, find all sections. What is it? You already know, right? It's just a, it's just a simple fetch, right? It's the same thing we did before, right? But in this case, we're asking for all sections. So that API is uh, not for a particular course. It's all of them. So API section is a more appropriate thing. Uh, we are parsing it, right? And just uh, parsing and just sending it across. Yes? All right. Uh, so now we have a complaint on the console saying, you know, I want to fetch that, but there's nobody on the server to respond. That's easy. Right? Let's go on the server to fix that. Let's go on the server side. That we're already in the right place. We are in the section schema. Uh, we, we, we need to be in the service. Let's go into service. So on the service, we need to listen for an incoming get. App.get, right? API service, uh, uh, sections, right? That's, that's, the, that's the query that we're sending over from the, from the client, right? There it is, right? API section. So we, we need to listen to it right here. And we're going to handle it in the following request response function. What do we do? We're going to use the model. We're going to use the model. We're going to say section model, uh, find me all 
sections. And presumably, this is going to go out to a database, right? It's going to do a find. It's going to come back with a promise. Hopefully, it'll re return with all the sections that I want, right? It's all of them. And I'm just going to respond and send back the sections. You know, very, very similar to this one. You know, very, very similar. OK, you're seeing a pattern, right? Hopefully, you'll get bored of this pattern. And that pattern is, is, it'll become so second nature uh, that, again, you'll be able to do, able to do it on your own. OK, uh, Okay. so we have that. Uh, so let's implement it. It's not in there. That uh, uh, final section doesn't exist. Let's go into the section model, and it's implemented. Right? It's going to look very, very similar to our find all sections for course. Actually, it's going to be even simpler, because it takes no arguments. Right? We're not filtering anything. Uh, we're just going to return all of them. We're going to section model dot find. It's all of them. I want all of them. I want all of them. I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not prejudiced here, right? All right, so we retrieve all the, all, the, all the models, and that's going to be sent over to the server, uh, to the client. All right, let's try it out. Let's restart the server. And let's go back here and refresh. OK, so this time it didn't complain. Oh, it did complain. <laughs> uh, we have an internal server. Oh, my goodness. What's, what is it that uh, it doesn't like? Uh, fine, all sections. Now, we probably forgot to export, export it. Yeah, we did. We got too, too excited here. Uh, let's restart the server. Let's refresh. OK, didn't complain. Let's look at the network. And uh, uh, hopefully somewhere here, we, go, we went to fetch section. There they are. Here are all the sections coming from the server. Right? And we bound it, pro probably we already bound it to the, to the section. We just need to render them. Right? So let's render that uh, on, the, in the, on the HTML. We can just render that. We can say uh, UL class a list, a list group and list all of them here, class, list group item, and just uh, iterate over these, right? So ng4, ng4, uh, let a section of sections, and, and then just render here the section dot title, right? So there we go, right? So we have all the sections. We have all the sections. Uh, we just need to be able to maybe click on a button and say, yeah, I want to enroll there. Right, I want to enroll there. Uh, obviously, this would come back also with the number of seats that are available. Uh, if, we, if we do enroll, we need to make sure we update that particular section and decrement the number of seats that are available. Let's not do that. Right? You, can, you can do that on, your, uh, on, on the assignment. Uh, the, the harder part will be to store the fact that I just enrolled. Right? We need to store that. So let's put a button right here. Uh, that will allow us to enroll. So all these will have a button that will, will say enroll. OK, one ugly button. Um, you can style it. Uh, so what we're going to do is that we're going to do a click and says, I want to enroll. Right, I want to enroll. Uh, I'm going to pass this argument the section ID. Uh, actually, this is coming from Mongo, right? So it's not ID anymore. It's underscore ID. Right? I want to enroll in that section. Yes? Right? Uh, you might make it more sophisticated. Maybe we, you could select several sections, and then you can say enroll. Right? You can pass many sections at a time. I'm going to do one at a time. All right, so enroll doesn't exist. Let's go back to the component. Uh, let's, uh, let's create here enroll. So enroll is going to be a function that takes the section ID as an argument, and it's going to, it's going to want to use this, this, uh, the section service this dot section service section ser what what is it don't you like service let me finish typing okay uh, uh, this section service and it's going to pass the en uh, an, an enrollment I'm going to pass in the section ID hello uh oh ah <laughs> well some got mad at me. Oh my goodness, that was slow. Uh, yeah, so we're going to tell the section, uh, the, the section service, I want to enroll. Again, we're going to start the client, go to the service, the server on the server, right? And then I'm going to store in the database. Yes? Um, now it's going to probably going to complain because there's no enroll. And that's fine, let's implement it. Let's go in the service and let's implement enroll. Enroll takes us argument, the section ID that we want to enroll in, right? And uh, and we're going to do uh, a fetch, a fetch, 
And uh, probably this is uh, modifying something that already exists. Right? So in that case, uh, typically this will be a put. Right? So there will, there will be something uh, localhost, uh, 3000, oops, Ush. 3000 API section, probably the section ID that we are modifying. Now I know the section that I'm modifying. That is the section I'm modifying. Uh, and uh, probably um, uh, we can just pass in maybe uh, uh, saying that I want to enroll, enroll, something like that. Right? And it's going to be a put. Oops. It's going to be a put. Uh, so this is going to be. Um, uh, method, the method is going to be put. And I don't need to pass any data, right? I'm, I, I just, I'm just saying that uh, I, I'm, I'm only saying the, the, the section ID that I want to enroll. And that's what I really need. Uh, that's all I need on the server. Um, and uh, uh, um, all right, excellent. Uh, so if I do that, uh, you'll notice, obviously, that if I click on it, it's probably going to complain, right? Console, if I click on enroll, it complains saying that there is no put. Right? There's nobody on the server waiting for that put on the server, right? So let's go, well, let's head over to the server to implement uh, this, uh, this put here, right? This enroll, this put. So we go to a server, we go to the service uh, for, the, for, the, for the section, and we're going to listen in for an incoming put, an incoming put, right? And whose pattern is this? That's the pattern that looks like it. Right, and uh, this will be uh, colon section ID, right, and enroll. All right, so now we, we're listening for that incoming put. What are we going to do? Well, we're going to have here the res response and request. Right, what do we want to do? Uh, it, well, well, we want to make sure, right, that we participate in the same session, right, that we logged in earlier. So we better, here in the client side, not just send the put, we also want to make sure that uh, we send the credentials, right? Uh, make sure so that we use the same session, right? Otherwise, uh, this will, you know, won't be able to tell that it's from the same person who just logged in two minutes ago, OK? Um, so, so this will be uh, include, include, right? Um, all right, excellent. So what are we going to do here? Uh, we're going to use. Uh, in the model section model, we're going to be able to do, we're going to be able to do something like enroll, right? And the enroll here is going to need a, a couple of things, right? It's going to need the um, uh, the session that is going to need to know who's enrolling and what section are they enrolling in, right? Uh, in the in the uh, now who's enrolling, we have that in the session, don't we? Right? Because we we logged in a couple minutes ago. Uh, so we can get that from the request. Ooh, did I spell this wrong? I did this backwards, right? Uh, this is request, and this is response. Uh, so in the response, in the response, in the session, in the current uh, user. Uh, yes, thank you. <laughs> request that session, thank you. Uh, that's the user object that I put when I logged in a couple minutes ago. So that's a whole object, and that's the ID, right? That's the ID of the user who's enrolling, right? And where are they enrolling? They're enrolling in this section ID. That's the section ID, which is in request.params params, uh, slash uh, section ID. Yes? OK? Um, awesome. So hopefully that will work. Uh, this will come back with a, with a promise saying, yes, I enroll them. It's done. And we can then just respond. You know, the, uh, I'm going to ignore the status. So this is a status coming back that, yes, I was able to update. Uh, I'm going to say respond send status 200. Status 200, the HTTP 200 status, meaning OK. Right, everything went OK. All right, so enroll doesn't exist. Let's implement that. Let's go in there. Let's implement enroll. Uh, so how do we enroll? What do we need to do? Uh, so this takes two arguments, right? It takes in the user ID and the section ID. We need to make a relationship, right? And here's where we have a couple options, right? 
uh, we could have a separate collection uh, that references both the user and the, uh, uh, and the section. We could do that, right, like a mapping collection. Uh, or uh, we, could, we could have an array of sections, the, and the user. The user can keep track of all the sections that the user is enrolled in. Or we could have the section right, know all the users are enrolled in that section. Right? We have those three choices. Okay? Uh, it depends on the use case. Right? More typically, perhaps, is more common that a user who has logged in wants to know what sections am I enrolled in. Right? Where am I? Maybe in my profile page, I'd like to know what sections am I enrolled in. I could maybe display in the profile page. Yes? Right? So I'm going to make an executive decision that says I'm going to store the section in the user. Right, because I think that's a more common use case. Right? So let's do that. Uh, so, so what we're going to do is first we're going to um, we're going to need we're going to need the user model. We're going to have to go fetch the the user. A const uh, user model, and we're going to require it. We're going to say um, we're going to go up one user and then user model because we need to find the user, right? We need to find the user. So in roll, I'm going to, um, I'm going to say um, uh, user model dot find user by ID. We have the user ID. We, we never implemented it. Find user uh, by ID. And if we have the user ID, we never implemented, did we? Uh, we probably never did implement it. Let's, uh, let's implement that real quick in the user model. Uh, there should be a, a find user by ID, and we have the user ID, and that's going to be equal to uh, user model dot find by ID user ID. Okay, oops. Uh, and then we can export that. Okay, now we have it. All right, so we have find user by ID. This is going to come back to us with the actual user. This is going to come back with the actual user from the database. We can do a couple things here. Uh, the, what we would like to be able to do is something like this. We would like to say, hey, user, uh, grab me all the sections that you are enrolled in, right? and then push the section ID. Right? So you're keeping track a whole bunch of foreign keys uh, that list all the sections that you're enrolled in. Yeah, but notice that we don't have a sections array in the user schema. We don't have that, don't we? All right. So let's do that. Let's do that. Let's, let's go back to the user model. Let's go to the user schema. And here we're going to add sections. And it's going to be an array of things. So it's going to be an array of objects. Okay. Those array of objects, um, they could be just strings, right? because those, those IDs are almost just like a string. But instead, we're going to say that these are not strings. Instead, they are of a, um, a, a, a I want to, what I want to be able to say here, hey, this is not just a string. It actually is a foreign key. It's, it's referring to an instance with another record. right? Uh, so so uh, to do that, it's going to be uh, mongoose uh, schema dot types dot object ID. Remember the underscore IDs? What types are they? They're object IDs, aren't they? All right, so that's what I want to store in here. I want to store the IDs of those objects. Okay? And one other thing, I'm going to tell Mongoose that this, this ID, this string, refers to a, an object that you know that, that you're keeping track. Are you keeping track of these things? You're keeping track of these, and you called it, uh, I think we call the section model, right? Elsewhere, when we, create the, when we created the section model, right? that's what we called it. It refers to those things. Okay, it refers to uh, those section models. Right. Uh, all right. So let's try it out. Let's try this out. Let's see if it blows up. Uh, what do we What do we do here in the um, in the section model? Right. We when we enrolled, uh, we we did this. Right. right? We pushed, uh, and then we're going to save the user back into the database. Right, I modified you in memory, right? And now I want you to write yourself back in the database, right? Because I, I, I added things to you, right? 
uh, to your array. Save yourself. Uh, and then we are going to return this. We'll return the promise uh, after the save. Make, make sense? So meaning, I don't return from this enroll until I know that the user is safely safe, uh, saved into the database. All right, so that's the enrollment. Uh, back in the service, uh, where's the enroll? Here's the enroll. Uh, all right, so yeah, we're just going to send back a 200. We're just going to go ahead back a 200. All right, so let's try it out. Let's see if this blows up. OK. Uh, let's see. Let's uh, refresh this. And I'm going to enroll uh, in this section here. Let's click that. Uh, put give me an internal server error. Let's see what's uh, complaining about. Uh, can't read the uh, undefined ID, uh, I think, here. Oh, probably because I restarted the server and there was nobody logged in. All right, there was nobody logged in. All right, so there was nothing in the session. So let's do that. All right, so this, this relies on somebody being logged in. So I'm going to log in as Alice, Alice. Uh, let's look at Alice for uh, just a second. What does Alice look like? Uh, so this is, um, uh, we have Alice here, don't we? Um, pretty fine. No, this says, there's Alice. There's Alice. There's no sections in Alice. Right, so let's try it out. I log in as Alice. That's great. Welcome, Alice. I'm going to go to enrollments. And I'm going to try enrolling here. Still, error. Um, I cannot read blah, blah, blah. I'm sorry? Um, no. Uh, request that session, current user. Is, isn't that where we stored it? Uh, let me see. Uh, let me, uh, let's put a breakpoint here. Uh, let's try it again. Enroll here. Uh, we have a request session, current user. Current user, current user, first name, blah, 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 blah. There it is, underscore ID. Uh, so what is it that, that, that does not like? Uh, request, da, 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 current, da, 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 da. session, current user, underscore ID. Hmm, that's weird. Uh, param, blah, 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 continue, continue, console, and it's still giving me the error. Um, all right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to debug this, and then I'll pu publish it uh, later on uh, tonight and make it available for you. OK? All right, and we're out of time anyway. All right, uh, hopefully this will be a, a, a well enough for you to, 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 to get you going. Uh, on implementing this, um, what I'll also do uh, for you is uh, when you when you go to the profile, uh, since you already have the user, right now we're only displaying the user the username, right? But but the cool thing is is that what's going to come back is not only the username. We also have the first name, last name, right? The sections are going to be in there, right? The sections are going to come back, right? As an array, right? And uh, and not only as an array of IDs. Right, we can make it so that it comes back as an array of the actual section objects, including the titles, the IDs, everything in there. So we could display nicely in the profile. We could display all the section that the user is, is logged into. So that would be pretty cool. All right, all right so I'll, I'll post that uh, later tonight.